Just a couple tips if you live in an RV during a hurricane. Make sure you fill your freshwater tanks, all your tanks, fill all your tanks, um, your, your gray tanks, cap them off, fill them. Keep the weight on a fifth wheel or a motorhome in the front. You want it in the front. We'll do the house next, but we're gonna do the RV first. If you can, jack up the bumper and put some blocks underneath it. That'll help uh, steady it out so it won't uh, sway on you. Go get yourself some x troc jacks and put them between your tires if you have a fifth wheel. Now if you have a fifth wheel, make sure you tighten up, snug up your um, tripod in the front so it stops it from swaying. I even put some blocks under there. Now a lot of people are gonna tell you about the slides. They're gonna say, well, pull the slides in. Well, I, I, I disagree with that. I don't think you should pull the slides in. Sorry if it's a little windy. There's a hurricane coming, by the way. Um, I, don't, I don't believe in that. Um, the seals in the RV, the rain can push through the seal. But if you have a newer RV, they're pretty tight. So I like to keep them out for balance. Do you ever see someone balance, uh, the balance guys that walk the tight ropes? They have a big balance arm beam type thing. Well, that's for balance. Same with a fifth wheel. Especially when the wind's hitting you broadside like this from the side, it can push you right over because these are like 13 feet tall, right? But when the wind's hitting here, hitting a slide, and it breaks the wind. So it's not a flat area anymore. See, people don't think of that. You push all the slides in, it's a flat area. It's not safe. You have no balance and it's a flat area. You want a 3D type area. You don't want a flat area. It breaks the wind. Trust me, it works. Okay, now this applies for our house. We're gonna go in the house and uh, the new little smart home we built. Your refrigerator, don't keep opening and closing your refrigerator door when there's no power. You wanna keep the refrigerator shut. Try to put a lot of soda cans or um, ice packs, as many, much as you can um, in your freezer and fridge. If you want, you can take like baggies of ice and put them all in your freezer and line them up in your fridge because that'll keep it like a cooler for a long time. Now, if you have a washing machine, here's another tip. Now, since this is just a, a small area, sorry, there's clothes in here, we're doing laundry. If there's no clothes in here, obviously, you can actually pack this with ice and put everything in here with, uh, put um, extra stuff. Like say if you have a refrigerator and a freezer or two freezers, like a deep freezer you have, it's in the garage. Well, you can pack this full of ice too and put your um, stuff in here, inside your washing machine. Sounds crazy, but it works. If you have a septic tank and you can flush a toilet, no problem, if you have city water coming in and a septic tank, but most, some people don't. They have city water going out with a pump system and they have uh, a well. So you can't take, you have no way of, you need a generator to pump the water from the well up. That gets a little bit crazy because the generator is just dedicated just for the well. Look, any debris you have kicking around like this plant right here, this will go flying. Take your cars, park them in front of your windows and garage doors in your house. We have this truck parked on an angle, it's blocking us in. So it can't affect these windows in the house or the RV windows. It'll hit the truck first, so that's what you want because your truck insurance will cover that. Or your car insurance usually will cover that. Another thing, we took the Honda and parked it sideways here so the wind would stop, would break because the wind's gonna come in from this way, we know that. It's gonna come hitting this way. It's gonna broadside us, I know, it sucks, but it's going to. So this car being here, will break the wind from the RV. Actually, it could stop it from flipping over this hill right here. And there's a big cliff right there. So that right there is gonna help a lot break the wind. It, it'll, stop, it, it'll stop the wind from coming up here and pushing it this way. Now this is coming down. This is just here for the sun. This is gonna come down because this will blow off. If you have a full-size fridge like this, you're kind of screwed because you don't have gas. But we have a Xantrax um, inverter, so that'll run the fridge. Not like it's gonna last long, but we do have a uh, solar panel, so. If you have a little generator, you can run a generator. Some of these have generators on board. Just make sure you have enough fuel. Grab enough fuel. We grabbed a couple, like 10 gallons of gas, five gallons in here. I got five gallons in the shed. If you're gonna be in the RV, I would say evacuate the RV right away, because it's just not safe. RVs are not safe in, in, in hurricanes. Just get out of there. That's the biggest thing. If you're in a house, evacuate if it's gonna flood. When, Wind, if you got a block or a brick house, a little bit safer in the wind. If it's like 130, you can still take it, you know. Now, the safest place in here in this house is a little small house, by the way. We just, wife and I redid. Well, it was a garage at one point, just like a couple months ago. And excuse the mess, she's doing laundry. The safest place is right by that toilet. Because we actually built a little hurricane thing. That's like two by sixes. You're not going to bend that. And then you got the dirt rock and you got the shower here. So this would be like the safest place in here. But just keep your family safe during Florence. It's a big, pretty good storm. The winds have calmed down a lot, so that's really good. But uh, just stay safe during the storm. Pass this video around to your RV friends if it helped you. Have a good one, guys. And, uh, well, put it in the comments how everything went after the hurricane.